Hi everyone. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to do a flamingo. I'll be using chalk pastel. You can use whatever you can find around your house. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna start by creating a border uh, for my chalk so that I don't go outside that border. I'm gonna start my sketch with like a gray chalk pastel and we'll see if it shows up. Now, obviously it'd be better if you measured to make sure that they're equal on both all sides around, like one inch on all the way around would be a really good idea, but I'm just gonna freehand it for now. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing my flamingo and I'm gonna have the head be right here and the neck and the body and then the legs. Okay, so I'm gonna start by drawing a candy cane shape. Kind of like that, like I'm gonna start a can can, maybe kind of like the top of a question mark. Okay, then I'm gonna loop it on around for the head, like that. Almost like I'm di I did a letter U or half a letter C. And then stay close to that line, you don't want it to get too far away from it, but it also, you don't want it to be too skinny, so try and stay kind of close to that line without getting too far away or too skinny. And I'm using short little lines. I'm not getting my line straight or perfect the, the first time around, okay? Short little lines is a good way to get the line to look the way that you want it to. All right, now I'm gonna do the back of my flamingo like this. Go up and create kind of like a flattened out rainbow okay kind of like that then you're gonna circle on around loop on around for the chest kind of like a flattened letter c draw the belly and come on up right here for the tail kind of like that okay so we've got a general basis for the body head and neck okay i'm gonna add a little line right here Oops, there goes my chalk. Remember, if your chalk breaks, it's okay. You can use both sides. I just put one side back in my box to use later. So now I'm going to draw a letter C and bring it on right above that tail like that. Okay, all the way to the back. Now they have a, a beak that doesn't look like a pelican beak or a toucan beak or a cardinal's beak. It's kind of like uniform and then it kind of gets a little bit bigger right at the end. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna draw two lines, like the number 11, okay? Just like that. The number 11 coming out of the face and then it gets a little bit big with that curve. So it's like a backwards letter J and then kind of connect this on there to touch it, touch the end and create a point for the beak. Oops, there's the page of my book. And then their legs are really skinny, but they have knobby knees. So I'm gonna draw one line going down like that. And next to it, I'm gonna draw another line going down. This is a really long, skinny number 11, just like that. And because I'm using chalk, I can make the little knob for the knee right here. And I'm going to have the water, I'm going to have my flamingo standing in water. So I put a little line there down at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do another leg in the back, because remember they have two legs, but this one's going to be bent. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go out and back. Okay, so it's bent. So it comes forward and down. And then I'm going to draw the underside of that leg, keeping it skinny, not getting too far away and coming down like that to the water line, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and create my horizon line in the background by just drawing a line behind it. However, you don't want your horizon line to be right at the top of the head or at any uh, like important intersection of your focal point because then it kind of distracts from your focal point. So I'm not gonna put the line for my horizon right here because it would compete with the attention for the head. And I don't wanna put it right here because it's gonna, it's gonna cut my bird right in half where the legs start. So I'm actually gonna do mine probably right here behind, uh-oh. 
that wind. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oops. Hopefully it stays. Okay. So I'm going to do my horizon line right here. Okay, and if at this point you want to color it in, whatever colors you want to do is fine. Um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to color it in. Okay, I'm going to get a very, very light sky blue. Um, one thing I think about sky blue is there's not usually any sort of like green tint to it. Uh, it's just like pure light, light, light white blue, like white mixed with blue. So it's a very innocent light blue. So I'm just going to shade that in. Okay, so I've got my sky shaded in, and I'm going to actually add a little bit of a darker blue right up at the top so that it looks like it's getting brighter towards the horizon for a bright day just like today. And then in my right along that gray line, I'm going to draw a dark green color to kind of make it look like it's a fuzzy, blurry, um, I don't know, area of land back there. And then as I get farther or closer and closer, sorry, closer and closer to my flamingo, I'm going to start with a dark bluish green back here and I'm going to start lightening it up as we can start seeing more and more shallow water and sand down here. Um, I'll be using some pinks and corals for my flamingo, some white, gray, and maybe a little bit of black on the beak and some navy color for the legs. All right, here we go. If you notice where I put the light pink and the corals and then I darkened around the wing because you're going to have a lot of feathers with the, all their little tiny shadows. I also just layered a whole bunch of colors on this flamingo. I actually didn't even blend it in. You could blend yours in first if you wanted to, but I left mine a little bit rougher texture so that it stands out more from the water. Um, now I'm going to use a black and I'm going to put a little tiny eye or a dark gray, you could use dark gray too, and put that right here for my flamingo. Now you can use um, some other colors and go side to side on the water. And um, I'm gonna add some bright whites down here to make it really look like it's reflecting the sun. And then right here where we created that line where the feet go into the water, I'm gonna create a cast shadow using a dark gray and a dark blue. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of coral and pink to create the reflection from the flamingo on the water. Okay, everyone, there you have it. That's our flamingo painting. I'd love to see yours. Post pictures of your artwork in the comments below. And remember, kindness matters. Bye.